Chaplin's Corner, Dr. Ron Lester. A thumbnail head and shoulders photo of Dr. Lester accompanies his Chaplin's Corner at the top of the first column. He has a pronounced smile. The lapel of a colored gray plaided sport coat is visible above a colored dress shirt. There is no caption with the photo. The content of Dr. Lester's column reads as follows. Holding Pattern When there is an accident on an airport runway, there is a call for all the airplanes to go into a holding pattern, which is when the planes will fly in a circle. This could last for several minutes or several hours, depending on what the problem is, but once it is over, things get back to normal. Have you ever felt you were in a holding pattern? In March, when COVID-19 was classified as a global pandemic, I went into a holding pattern. We are concerned about going out. If you do go out, you must wear a mask, wash your hands with soap or use hand sanitizer, and are not to touch your face. Have you tried to keep from touching your face for 30 minutes? I certainly cannot. For me, to go to church and follow the rules of social distancing is difficult. I wear hearing aids, and trying to hear one person from six feet away makes it impossible to carry on a conversation, which makes me feel more shut in. But we cannot sit around and be depressed. Another difficult part of this holding pattern is that we cannot even see our doctors for appointments. To make things worse, VA closed the BRCs. I enjoyed getting in the van and going to the hospital here in Tucson. It is an activity that breaks the day up and is a great opportunity to meet new friends who are in the same boat as I am. Most of the time we sit around watching TV all day, and all the bad news just kills our spirits and depresses us. We must begin limiting our exposure to bad news. So how do we break out of the feeling that we are in a holding pattern? We need to do something that will give us the shot of energy needed to write a book or call a friend. We need to read or listen to something that will inspire us. We can rise up and do something creative. We can listen to the Bible. There are a lot of scriptures that will encourage us. So we wait, hurry up, and wait. Here is the heart of it all. You are special in God's eyes. He gave us a word from the Bible in Isaiah 40:33 that says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me to wait.